Well, I think it makes sense to start with a nice little joke about myself and my brain and how it works because I was thinking over this week and because of last week with my pinata experience with Freddie Gibbs, someone needs to write a song. And in that song, it needs to have a little story about getting in a car that has suicide doors and then you drive that car to a chicken shack to buy a chicken and french fries and then I'll react to the song and everybody can watch my brain melt. <laughs> because for whatever reason, these last two weeks, I'm just diving down these crazy rabbit holes. And I am aware of suicide doors and what they are. And no, that shit never crossed my mind when I was really digging deep into Kyle Cobain. Which was funny. It was very funny to You're me. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Taboo, Unlocked. This will be a re additional thoughts for both uh, albums, especially since Unlocked was so short. I think I'll start with that one first. Um, what a cool project. What a cool project. And I guess I will reference Taboo slightly here in that. It seems like Taboo, not to get too far into it now, but it seems like you know Denzel's working through a lot of stuff. And so it seems like Taboo is a pretty personal album, hopefully a therapeutic, cathartic album for him. <laughs> but I'm happy that he can jump in with Kenny and those guys. Uh, from what I understand, they made that in less than 24 hours, which is awesome. How cool for them to be able to just get together and have fun, have fun making music. You know, it, I love that in the sense that it, it doesn't seem like you hear that kind of story very often. Usually when people are working and they're trying to make something, it is work. It does take time there's frustration, maybe there's disagreements, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that happen, a lot of dynamics that happen. And when I listen to Unlocked, I just feel like these guys got together and fucked around for a day and kicked out this cool little project and we all get to enjoy it. I really love the fact that they released an instrumentals version too, because I threw on the instrumentals version and immediately I realized how much Denzel was doing with his voice. It was very surprising to me. Now, obviously, Kenny is doing a lot of stuff with effects to his voice, you know, changing the pitch and stretching it out and doing all this crazy stuff. But it, it really surprised me <clears throat> just how empty the song sounded without Denzel, his voice being on the track. And it was cool to just sit there and listen to the beats that Kenny had made without the vocals on top of it to... I guess hear his process, his side of the project. And then when I listened to it again, I was listening to it and thinking, okay, I don't know all the words, you know, cause I'd only listened to unlock a couple of times. And really, I don't really know. I mean, I don't know much of the words at all. I don't even really know like the rhyming scheme or, or pattern that he was using on top of these beats. So then I was trying to imagine what would I do on this song? Like how would I insert any kind of lyrical content to it? And I was just, completely blank. Like I felt so out of my element <laughs> trying to think of any kind of vocal work to do on top of the beats that Kenny had made because even though the beats, they're not like wildly, you know, complicated, there's a lot of weird little timing things that are going on. And, and so for Denzel to get on top of those and just crush it because he does crush it too. That was the other thing. Then I went back listening to the project with his vocals on it. And I was like, fuck man. These are good lines. Like, there's a lot of good lines in Unlocked. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. I forgot to write them down again like I always do. I always talk about writing in the lyrics that I never do. But Unlocked was a really cool project. It was. It's fun that it's so short because you can just throw it on. You know, if you've got 20 minutes, you just throw it on. I think it's not even that. It's like 17 minutes or something. Uh, today, when I listened to it, I listened to it twice on my commute. Like, perfect. And I, was, I pulled into work right as it was finishing on the second run. <laughs> So that was cool. I can see why why people are totally into that. And I actually, I enjoyed it too. Now going to Taboo, <clears throat> I cannot, well, at least initially, I could not understand why people are not into Taboo because I feel like Taboo is excellent. I feel like it's an excellent album. The more I got into it, the more I enjoyed it. I know on the initial listen, when it dropped into Cash Maniac and Sumo, I kind of, you know, I was like, oh, what's happening here? Because I didn't understand where it was going. But once I got a full run through the album and I understood how those tracks existed within the flow of the album, I'm totally on board. Totally on board. Like, to me, that album, there's no skips, top to bottom, taboo, great ride the whole way through. 
I did watch a video that was talking about the, the three volumes and how it's light, gray, dark. And obviously <laughs> Denzel did that on purpose, but I feel like there's a semantic there that it just, I don't think of it in terms of light, gray, dark. I think of it in terms of, and maybe I'm just making up my own semantics for the sake of it. I don't know, but it's like, it's like this sinking into a darkness because even the light isn't light. Like it starts out saying this is the darker side of taboo and talking about molestation and trying to cover up pain with money and all that. I mean, there's a lot of dark themes that are happening on the light portion of the album. And so I feel like calling it light isn't quite that accurate. I feel like calling it just, I haven't completely sunk into the darkest, darkest depths yet because to me, that's what this album is, is just a slow descent from from taboo thought to a darker taboo thought to a darker taboo until he gets all the way to the bottom where he's just this raging psychopath that wants to take vengeance on the guy that signed his record deal. He's the black metal terrorist. Like it's pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And I love the sense that because you kind of, I like, I think of somebody being in the ocean, you know, and as they, as they sink into the ocean, they're looking up and you can still see sunlight. You can still see, but it's getting dimmer and it's getting dimmer. And then eventually you get to a point where it's like, okay, I can't quite see sunlight, but I can see light within the water, but they're still sinking. And eventually they just get to the cold black abyss where there's nothing, <laughs> just darkness, crushing pressure, cold. It's incredible. Uh, Oh, I lost my train of thought. I got so wrapped up in my analogy there. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> so I was thinking, because I feel like this album is, is very complete, like from top to bottom, and it covers all the bases. You know, you've got, you've got lighter songs. You've got maybe a couple songs that you can listen to that are kind of like a party song. You've got dark songs. You've got angry songs. It covers all the bases, which is pretty incredible. And I feel like that might be the one fatal flaw for people who are not into taboo because so often with me and I assume with a lot of you when you're in a certain mood you want to put on something that kind of supports that mood in a specific way and so if you want to listen to something like if you're mad you want to put on something that's loud if you're sad you want to you know put on something that's that's quiet or whatever typically we will use music to serve an emotional vein and then it will stay consistent within that vein because this album goes from top to bottom and it just gets darker and darker and darker. And you have these lighter songs, you have these angry songs. I feel like this album doesn't support that kind of musical experience. If you're sad, you're not going to put on taboo because while there are a couple sad songs on there that could you know help you with that, there's also songs that are not going to help you with that. There's some kind of like party jams and there's some crazy shit. If you're mad, the same thing, like there are just, it's like you, you get a couple tracks that support how you might be feeling, but the album as a whole isn't there for you the whole way through. So I think really that's the only thing I can think of in terms of why people wouldn't like Taboo because I think the, the writing is great. Like what's being told in the album and what's being left to read between the lines is really good. The lyrics are really good. Like there's some great, the one, you know, everybody wants to ride the wave, but then when the ship don't sail, they jump off. I, that's not exactly how it goes, but there's some incredible lyrics in there. Mad I Got It, where, you know, he's basically going back and forth between people being mad at him because he's got it. And then he's flipping the script and putting it on himself for being mad at other people who get it. Perks, <laughs> that track is incredible in terms of kind of attacking I guess what's it's called trap rap, you know, the, the, I know it wasn't specific to dial it. Thank you guys for leaving in the comment telling me it was not specific to dial it, but more or less just that genre. Uh, Clout Cobain is a hell of a dark song. Another thing I liked about the album too, is those three music videos tell a cool little story and give you a lot more insight into the album and what's happening with the album. I loved it. I really did. Um, where, where are we at? We're only at seven minutes. That wasn't very long. I think, I think it was an incredible, <laughs> incredible album. I did watch, let's see what else I watched. Watch music videos. I watched the thing talking about the light gray and black. I did watch some um, interviews with Denzel Curry. He seems like an interesting dude 
too. There's a lot going on there. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people, maybe maybe they're sleeping on Denzel a little bit. I don't know a lot about him. I didn't really get too deep into him and interviews and stuff like that this weekend with him. But from what I understand, he's a little frustrated that he hasn't gotten the recognition maybe he feels like he deserves. And even though I haven't listened to Imperial, and from what I understand with Imperial, it's just very loud, thrashing album from top to bottom. I th- he even says that in one of the interviews he's talking about, he wanted to do something like Taboo because he wanted to change. He didn't want to just make another version of Imperial. And I like that. I like that there's a guy who's using his own personal struggles and kind of spilling them out like Kid Cudi or like Tyler, the creator or whoever, or, you know, Frank Ocean, just taking these things and spilling them out and, and, and analyzing them and dissecting them and putting them into music and making it personal and making it real. Yeah, this is surprisingly short. I'm only at nine minutes. I don't know. I guess I would say if, if you're not into Denzel, if you're not into Taboo, you know, obviously everybody has their own subjective tastes and you can like or dislike whoever you want. But I would say don't sleep on him. And if, if someone was saying, someone left a comment, and I guess him and Peggy are coming out with an album soon where JPEG did the, the beats. I don't know if that's true. I didn't look it up to confirm it. But if that's the case, that would be a fucking incredible, <laughs> incredible album. Like I'm really excited about that because so far for me, my favorite like first listen reaction experiences have been veteran and taboo i mean there's been other albums i've really enjoyed but just on that initial ride those two have probably been my favorite and so if those two guys got together to make an album i'd probably kind of geek out a little bit on that one i would probably fanboy on that one (laughs) so anyway with denzel curry if you're not into him fair enough maybe give him another chance but i i would say don't sleep on him like, I feel like there's a lot of potential with Denzel Curry. Um, he's been around a little while, which uh, from what I understand, isn't necessarily that common anymore. Like if you're around in the rap for five, six years, that's not the norm, which is surprising to me, but there you go. And uh, I look forward to whatever album comes next. I did not listen to the single, like there's a single Walking or Walking. I didn't listen to that. If there is an album soon, I'm gonna wait and just do that whole experience in one shot. I guess that's it. I didn't take a lot of notes, unfortunately. I just enjoyed the shit out of it. I really did. I enjoyed Taboo a lot. A lot. Um, Friday is the big one. My, how's it go? Dark, twisted, beautiful fantasy, something like (laughs) that. The big one, right? You know, I did To Pimp a Butterfly, and that was the big one, and this is the other, the big one. So, yeah, I'm surprisingly neutral on it people haven't really i don't know for some some reason somehow i got really hyped up about to pimp a butterfly this one the importance has been made known to me but i'm not hyped which is good that's a good thing that's not a bad thing because that means going into it i'll just be open rather than having these insane expectations and then feeling maybe let down on the initial reaction which is not good you don't want to seem let down on one of the biggest albums that people talk about So anyway, all right, well, we'll see you Friday. It it doesn't seem like you're helping at all. No, this is wifey helping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah, this is like when you used to play video games and cover your eyes. (laughs) Yeah, that was not helpful. You loved it. Mm, No, no. Yeah, <laughs> the truth comes out, huh? <clears throat> I'm heartbroken. You've got plenty of wine. This is the last of it. Oh, shit, you don't have enough wine. Disaster. Good thing it's-